Hey, hey, y'all. Let me take my Bluetooth out so it's not constantly going off. Hello, beautiful people. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. And I definitely appreciate that to all the new people stopping by. Hi, you guys. Um, So today, as you know, it is What's Cooking Wednesday. If you don't know What's Cooking Wednesday, say hey, Carmen. Hi. If you don't know, What's Cooking Wednesday is where I prepare uh -oh, a meal um, that is budget friendly and family friendly that typically takes an hour or less and will give you enough for leftovers for the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I am going to be cooking in just a second. First, let me tell everybody, hey, that's here. Mom, um, no, you just drink it, baby. So hello, correct code six. How are you? Hey, Edward Smart. Hello to everyone that's coming in. If you are watching the replay, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, as y'all come in, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And before you leave, make sure you leave a genuine comment in the comment section as well. Um, things are going to be a little bit different and a little bit more easier tonight because Joe is home. He is actually off all week. This like never happens. Mommy, this, this. I'm not sure, baby, but I'm on line. Is that yours or is that Leah's? Okay, well then, if you have to guess, then it's probably not yours. So Joe is off all week. This will be his last vacation um, before, well, last vacation of the year. He doesn't get any more vacation because of the holidays and all that good stuff. We were actually supposed to be going to Disney because this was supposed to be our spring break week, but that is neither here nor there. So tonight, I had a request last week from Kenyatta to fix um, buffalo chicken dip. And I'm going to log in on my phone so I can see what I'm looking like on live on my phone. So tonight, like I said, since we had a request, that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we are going to be cooking tonight. And buffalo chicken dip, let me tell y'all, this is going to be perfect for any type of meal or any type of um, gathering that you're going to have, especially if it is like hors d'oeuvres or if you're bringing just like a small, hold on you guys, I got to charge up this phone. If you guys are bringing like a dish or anything like that, it's super simple. And I'm going to let you know a couple of ways you can make this buffalo chicken dip as far as serving it as a meal. We are going to be having this as dinner. And when y'all see how like the smallest amount of um, ingredients you'll need for this, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm making this all the time. So the first thing you're going to need, and this is where you can, hold on you guys. This is where you can, um, let me see, you can change the type of chicken that you are going to use. So I had some chicken breast that I got from Lidl. So I just boiled two chicken breasts, two healthy chicken breasts on the stove. And you'll just boil for um, 25 minutes. Hey, Tyrone. Hey, Kenyatta. Kenyatta, girl, you are just in time because I'm about to show y'all how to do this buffalo chicken dip. So with your chicken, you can get chicken breast from the grocery store and you can boil it yourself. So I did that last night for 25 minutes and went ahead and put it in the refrigerator. Y'all, I'm on it since Joe's off this week. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I feel like the most productive mom and wife ever. So you could do your chicken like that. That's option one. Option two is you can go to your local grocery store and you can get an already... Um, made rotisserie chicken. So I know Publix has them, Kroger has them. Just make sure you peel the skin off and you can use that chicken. So that's option number two. Or option number three is you can use canned chicken. Y'all, I don't know about the canned chicken, but I know you can use it. And I know some people who have used it, but me personally, I like doing two chicken breasts and calling it a day. You can do more chicken breast if you want to. It is totally up to you, whatever crumbles your cookie. But I'm using just regular, fresh, store-bought chicken breast that I got from Lidl. You can also do this recipe one or three ways. So I'm going to give you multiple options. You can either cook this on the um, in the crock pot, which you can put it in there for two hours on low heat because it does not take long. You can also put this in the oven. Or you can do like what I'm doing tonight, which is on the stove. So I'm making my buffalo chicken dip on the stove. It's going to be super simple, easy peasy. Now, 
if you are wanting to turn this into a true dinner option you guys you can also make some pasta and you can drain the pasta and put the pasta in the buffalo chicken dip so you can have a buffalo chicken pasta so you can do that as well however tonight i'm just doing this as a dip carmen said she wants some pasta but i think she's just wanting pasta salad so hopefully that kind of gives y'all a breakdown of buffalo chicken dip let me tell y'all my buffalo chicken dip is busting every time i go somewhere everyone says that it's so good you can also another option like i said with pasta you can actually put this in pasta shells and bake it in the oven so that's another option too the possibilities are endless with your buffalo chicken dip if you come up with some different ideas let me know but let me tell you you can use this multiple multiple different ways so let me check the chat really quick and then we'll go ahead and start cooking um hey samira girl um yes kenyatta don't forget to thumbs up tyrone i wish i was a master chef let me see hey the moody artist Okay, you guys, I think I am all caught up. Hey, Fifi. Yes, can get it. Yes, it is very, very versatile. And Joe does not eat this because I am using ranch. So, yeah. So, let me go over the ingredients real quick because I just showed, told y'all how to do it multiple ways with the chicken. So, I have my chicken. Let me pan y'all down so y'all can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's just shredded chicken. I just took my um, multi-purpose poultry scissor thingies and just chopped it up real quick. Like I said, I put this in the refrigerator and cooked it last night. Um, I have my cream cheese, so you'll need one thing of cream cheese. I just like the Philadelphia cream cheese. Y'all, I'm funny about cream cheese and butter, so I do name brand for my cream cheese, but if y'all want to do name brand, that's totally up to you. Um, Classic Ranch, y'all, they had this on sale at Kroger for 99 cents, so I said, let me go ahead and grab it. You'll need your Frank's Red Hot. You just need just the original. If you want to do the spicy, that's totally up to you, but for me, I just do the original, especially since the kids are going to be eating it. Um, hold on, I gotta get one more pack of cheese. One second, you guys. One second. Okay, so the thing that's gonna set your buffalo chicken dip off is going to be your cheese. Don't let nobody tell you to do this any other way, okay? So you're gonna need, boom, a handful of mozzarella cheese, okay? Just a little bit. Next. You're going to need either mild cheddar or sharp cheddar. We had taco nachos last night, so this is already open. So some mild cheddar. And y'all, last but certainly not least for the cheesy goodness, Colby Jack. Hands down. Let me tell y'all, this hits a little bit different. And I don't know why it pairs so good with the buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken mixture itself. But it's Kobe, yes. So anyways, the cheeses were $2.49 because Kroger had a sale. The chicken breast I got from Lidl, so I got a big old container of chicken breast for about $10. So I used two for this meal because it would just be me and the girls. I have two for my crock pot dinner that I'm fixing tonight that I'm vlogging. Um, and then the rest, I sliced them and put them in the freezer for future meals, I think. Yeah. Anyways, um, cream cheese was like $3 and some change because it is named brand. Pasta, I mean, the ranch was $0.99, cent, and then the Frank's Red Hot was two thirty nine. dollars So all in all, if you were doing this for a party, that's definitely kind of reasonable. And like I said, you can get a rotisserie chicken or you can do canned chicken. Like I said, whatever crumbles your cookie. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how it's about to go down. Let me check the chat really, really quick. Yes, girl, it's about to be amazing. Hey, Tanisha. Okay, so we're going to do the buffalo um, chicken dip. So if you're just coming in, that is what we're cooking. And let me tell y'all, this will be really, really good for Halloween, too. I'm pretty sure y'all can mix and match this with some Halloween stuff to make it fire. I know some of y'all don't celebrate Halloween, but if you do or if you don't, 
this is good for entertaining. Or if you just want to have like an in-home kind of like cookout type situation, boom, this is what we're having. But like I said, you can make this a pasta dish. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to pan you guys down. One second. So this is what my skillet is looking like. And I'm just going to take my chicken. Can y'all see this? Yeah, y'all can. I'm going to take my chicken and just dump it in here like so. Like so. And since this was in the refrigerator, I'm just going to let this heat up for a pair of seconds before I go in and add my other things. So I have my eye on medium heat. And if y'all didn't hear me at the beginning of this live, Joe is off all week. So I've been able to get so much stuff done. He's been here, especially with me, with the kids. Y'all, I love when Joe gets, and when he's, especially for the whole week. And then I get so spoiled because he's here for the whole week. And then it's back to normal. So Joe has been off since Sunday. He works on Saturday. So he's been off since Sunday. He doesn't go back to work until next Tuesday. Super excited. Also, you guys, next Wednesday, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing What's Cooking Wednesday. If I don't do it, I will probably still have a video that will post um, because my dad is having surgery next Tuesday and I will be on dad duty next week. So if I'm not cooking here, I may be cooking at my mom and dad's, but that remains to be seen. So yeah. Um, hey, the Winston family. Always wanted to know how to make this. When y'all see how easy it is to make, y'all gonna be like, why did I not? So I'm just gonna let my chicken heat up really quick and just touch base with you guys. Um, how is y'all's week going? How is your day going? What are y'all cooking for dinner? Because I have not asked. Um, because I would love to know what y'all are cooking. I literally have so many ideas for what's cooking Wednesday. If I'm on here next Wednesday, I'm probably gonna be making stuffed bell peppers. I'm trying to get better with letting y'all know what I fixed before. And for some reason, I don't know why my accent is so thick tonight. I don't know, but y'all just be here for the southernness, okay? I don't know what happened today. My accent is just on 10, and I'm really hearing it, and I'm like, Jessica, you really sound country. Oh, that's good. My day was super busy today at work. We had a couple of VIP visitors, um, and since it's getting close to um, election time, my job is popping, which I didn't realize how close I would be with politics in this position. So now that I'm around it, I'm like, I literally don't want to talk about it at all. So yeah, so today, basically since last week when I told y'all the governor came, it's been on and popping last week. So I am kind of tired of work. And I can catch my live with Joe on Saturday. I told y'all I was supposed to be sitting there and chilling because the girls were gone all weekend. Plot twist, I didn't chill. I didn't chill. I was up cleaning, stripping laundry, doing all the things that I would not be able to do 100% with the kids being here. So all in all, I did do okay. But then Sunday, y'all, I was so exhausted. No, Monday, I was so exhausted. I literally crashed. So, let me check the chat really, really quick. Hey, Apostle! I can understand. You just fine. <laughs> I, you know what? You, you, you get me. Yes, baby. What do you need, baby? Hold on, you guys. You can't do what? You got it? Y'all, I can't with my child. Okay, pork and beans are hot dogs. Pork and beans be busting, Edward. Um, so my chicken, it's kind of, you know, Poppy. Leah said, I mean, Karma said popping. <laughs> and so my chicken is warming up. Y'all can probably hear it sizzling a little bit. Typically, when I make this, the chicken is like coming straight out the water or whatever. So I just want to warm that up just for a little bit. 
And you guys, like I said, when you put this in the crock pot, you only need to put it in there for two hours. Yeah. That's wow. it. But you want to make sure when you do put this in the crock pot, you do your cream cheese, your ranch, your hot sauce, and your chicken. You do all that. Then you add your cheese after the fact because you don't want your cheese to burn while it's in the crock pot because the cheese is the thing that makes the buffalo chicken dip pop. So let me it should be good in just a second i got princess pie over here right carmen and leah's outside reading to joe she has to read um a chapter oh it's an airplane ooh, ooh. okay so my chicken is good and y'all and y'all know i don't like to use measuring cups but for this i just might so I'm going to pan y'all down in just a second. Let me get a measuring cup. Excuse me, baby. Let mommy get a measuring cup. Oh. What? What's that? I'm the best mommy ever in town. You want to tell the people? Come tell the people what your mommy is. Tell them. Hold on, y'all. My mom is the best mommy in town. Oh, mwah, 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 mwah. Mommy, what is that? This is chicken. Mm. Mommy's making buffalo chicken dip. No, no, I want to put it on the back. We're going to put it with the chips. I'm not on the chips. Carmen said I'm the best the mommy. Chips. You want the wiggly chips? The ones like what we had last night? Okay, so, like, here's princess number one, back from reading. And two. And two, one. And two, princess two. So my chicken is on and popping. So I'm going to pan y'all down, like so. Boom. Okay, you guys. So first things first, we're going to start with our cream cheese. Now, if you want to cut your cream cheese up, that's totally up to you. Yes, baby. Yeah. You got to ask your daddy. Those are his special cookies. Um, those are mommy's cookies. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to cut this because I got two nails that are hanging on for Faith and Pixie Dust. And Dana can't do my nails until Halloween, and we have family pictures on Sunday, so I'm trying to hold these nails together. Okay? All right, so you're going to use a whole thing of cream cheese because that is what makes it nice and creamy. Yes. What's that? Watermelon. Oh, it's watermelon? And y'all, cream cheese is expensive, so guess what? We ain't wasting... Not nan, yeah, I said it. Not nan piece of cream cheese. Oh, that's still cream cheese on my knife. All right, so like so, and we're gonna turn down our eye. Oop, and then we're gonna go in with one cup of ranch. Mommy. Yes. That looks so beautiful. Oh, thank you, baby. All right, y'all. So you're going to go in with one cup of ranch. One cup. I can't eyeball this, y'all. Oh, so like so. One cup. And you just going to, you know, drop it around. And then in the same container, y'all, I'm going to put my hot sauce. Now, since the kids are eating this, I do not make it that spicy. You'll need three-fourths of a cup of the buffalo chicken. I mean, not buffalo chicken, the buffalo sauce. Um, or you can pour the whole bottle. It's totally up to you. But I'm going to do a half a cup. Because I don't that's want it to right. be too spicy for my baby. So that's what I got right there. And the ranch will actually cool it down. So let me get my... 
little spatula because I want to make sure I get everything out of here, you guys. And if you don't have silicone um, smoothers, y'all are seriously slacking on your pimping. I definitely want y'all to get some. They have a lot of them on clearance at the stores. You can probably catch the ones that are out of season. Like get the Halloween ones or get the 4th of July ones. But I'm telling you, you guys, this. These will change your whole life. Something's crawling on me. So you're just going to take your chicken. And you guys, you're just going to give it. It's a spider. Oh my goodness. Be careful. This is really hot. Back up. Back up. So you're just going to take this and you're going to give it a mix. Now, how do I know that this is done, you guys? Are you asking? Is I know that this is good to go to add my cheese once the cream cheese melts, okay? The cream cheese is the kicker. Now, you may also be wondering, Jessica, I ain't see you not add not one thing of salt, one thing of pepper. Y'all, you really don't need it for this recipe. It's totally up to you. Just the spices from the buffalo sauce um, is enough. And then you also have your spices from your ranch, which that's enough. So you want it to get to this nice, y'all see how creamy that's looking? And this is just on the stove, y'all. Just imagine how it's going to be when you put it in the crock pot, okay? Just imagine. So I'm going to give this a nice little mix. Y'all look at that. Look how quick this was, y'all. Look how quick this was on the stove. And just think, if you have your pasta, let me pan y'all up. But get into this. Okay, so just think. Hey, boo-boo. Just think, if you are fixing this with pasta, you could do elbow noodles, you could do spaghetti, you could do rigatoni, you could do, the possibilities are endless. If you're doing pasta, your pasta can already be boiling. And you could just strain it. And throw it in the pot. You, you want to come over here? <laughs> All right. Well, guess what? You got to come over here. Look over here because mommy's using the stove. Can I mix this? Yeah, you can mix it. So Stuggy is coming over here and she's going to mix it. And then I'm going to get Carmen to come mix it. So the girls are actually cooking. So you just, uh, -uh. so you got to do it like this. Hold it like this and just rake it and bring it back. Rake it and bring it back. Because you want to make sure you get everything back nice. Back to normal. Like so cream cheese. I'm back to normal. Now everything's back to normal? Yeah, back to normal. Good job, Lily. Okay, hold on. Let mommy get the sides. And make sure y'all scrape the sides because sometimes your hot sauce and stuff, it's on the sides. Okay? <laughs> Carmen, you want to come mix? Mm -hmm. Come on. Let me check the chat really quick. Hey. Hey, third ward. Hey, hey, positive pusher. Carmen said, hey, y'all. Um, oh, That's hold on, you guys. All right, mix it. What is this, No, it's good. It's chicken and cheese. You had it before, but you were like three. All right. Thank you, Carmen. You're such a big help. My, I didn't take that for. Well, I'll let you taste it in a minute, but you got to hop down. Mm. Oh. All right. Let me check the chat really quick. Oh, it's in right there. Oh, everything went good, A.W. How are you? Oh, excuse me. I just burped. Um, Everything was good. We stayed on live probably about two hours. No, yeah, it was like two hours. Because y'all know, Joe be talking. Um, thank you for sharing this. I will make this and share it with you. Yes, girl. So, excuse me, baby. Now, here's the thing. What are you doing? What are you doing, ma'am? Legs down. Thank you. This child here. Leah said, come get her. And you would think that Joe wasn't home, okay? He's home. So, let me pan y'all down. Next, we're going to go in with our cheeses. So... No, I'm going to do these because it's just really quick because if you don't do them right, it's going to burn. So I'm going to go in with just a handful of mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to pan y'all down. Ooh, this cheese is strong. 
All right. Can y'all see that? Yes? Okay. So I'm just going to go in, and y'all see how that buffalo chicken dip is popping? So I'm just going to go in with this much. Y'all see this? Wait, let me pan y'all up. Oh, pan y'all up really quick. Mommy. Here we go. You just need this amount of cheese. That's it with mozzarella, okay? Because you just want it to be a little bit cheesy. And you're just going to take that and sprinkle it around, okay? Y'all see how it's already looking? Delicious. All right. Now, you're going to take just a smidgen of this mild cheddar, or you can do sharp cheddar. It's totally up to you. So, I'm going to just take this and sprinkle it around. Okay? Like so. Put that over there. And then you're also going to give this a stir. Just that quick, y'all. Y'all see how quick this meal is? Like, for real, for real. Mm. So you're going to give it a stir, and y'all already Mommy. see. Yes. I love you, too. Y'all already see how it's getting kind of cheesy? Y'all see that? You don't want it to be too cheesy, because guess what, y'all? We still got to add this Kobe cheese. Kobe cheese? Yes. Yeah. It's this cheese. Mm. So you're going to take this like so. Now, what I like to do while it's in here is make sure it's nice and even, like so, okay? Now, you're going to go in with your Kobe Jack cheese, okay? And you're going to take this, and you're going to sprinkle it around. And you're going to let it percolate just a little bit. And I'm going to use a whole pack of this. And now I'm literally going into the same steps as if I would if I was doing this in the crock pot. Y'all, the last thing you want to add is your cheese. Because again, you do not want it to burn in your crock pot, okay? Okay. Because it ain't nothing worse than having burnt cheese in your crock pot. Do y'all know how long it will take to get that out? Six days. Leah said six days. All right, y'all. So you just do it like so and just make sure you spread it out. Because you want this to have the illusion of dip. Now, here's the other thing, folks. If you're feeling really fancy and you have a cast iron skillet, which I have not been bestowed upon a cast iron skillet from my said ancestors. If y'all have a cast iron skillet, you can actually prepare this in a cast iron skillet and you can put this in the oven, bake it for a couple of minutes, and let the top get crusted. So that's another option. Are y'all too done? What is that on your face? Yes, I'm too. She's gonna get in trouble. I'm supposed to be imitating daddy. What's up? I can't. You better go get that permanent marker off your face before you go on. What is it? Right yeah, take it off before you mess around and mess up your face. Hey, be fit. Okay, y'all. So this recipe, like I said, it is super simple. Super simple. And again, another option that you can do is you can do those oversized um, shells and you can actually stuff the pasta, the, the pasta stuff the buffalo chicken dip inside the pasta. So definitely keep that in mind when you're making this recipe. So just to recap, when you are doing buffalo chicken dip, while this is percolating, let me do the recap. If you're doing the buffalo chicken dip, you can do chicken three different types of ways. You can do rotisserie chicken that you get from, ma'am, you need to get down. Come on. One second, you guys. Go. You're doing the teetotal most. Goodbye. I want to get you What? I'm going to um, drop it on. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Anyways, so you can do your chicken three different ways. You can get a rotisserie chicken from your local grocery store, but take the skin off and just use the meat on the inside. You can do canned chicken, which I have not tried. You can do canned chicken, or you can do like what I did and actually boil the chicken. You can also cook this multiple different ways. You can just serve it as a dip 
and do it on the um, stove. You can actually prepare this in the oven or what are you doing? Nothing. I'll uh, in the comments. Or you can put this in the crock pot. So that's three different ways you can cook it. You can also serve this as just a dip. You can serve it with pasta. So make some pasta noodles and put this in with the chicken and cheese and all of that stuff. Or you can actually stuff the shells. So you can actually, with this one dip, you can get multiple meals. I'm pretty sure you can make the buffalo chicken, the buffalo dip and stuff it into the chicken and bake it. But I have not tried that yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be awesome. So I'm going to pan y'all down really quick so y'all can see what the buffalo chicken dip is looking like. So this is what we're looking like, y'all. And y'all see just that quick how the cheese has melted. And if y'all get into it, it's kind of making a little crust along the sides. And that is what you're wanting, ladies and gentlemen. You're wanting that crust because I'm telling you, the crust with a buffalo chicken dip, bussing. Okay? Jamaica Attractions, welcome, welcome. We are fixing buffalo chicken dip. I just gave a recap of how you compare how you can prepare this multiple different ways y'all it's amazing also like i said tonight let me pan y'all up um i just got chicken on my shirt i mean on my wrist like i said um tonight we're actually doing it like a dip i have some leftover torsitos and we're gonna have that. But if you are wanting to know what chips to use when you're making this, okay, this is the kicker. This is also the kicker. Fritos, the scoop ones, it, the big ones that you can like kind of pack it, y'all, that, with this, blessing. Now, the chips that I'm using tonight are Voila. I got these from Costco. These are the scoops. We are saying not sponsored. But these are the scoops. And I like these because the one, you can crush them. Two, you see how they make the little bowls like yeah. so? You can do that as well. So that is what we're doing. I also have just some regular torcitos. No, don't mix it up. We just got to let it percolate. I also have some regular torcitos that I'm using as well. So, yeah, but I prefer the Fritos. They just didn't have any Fritos when I went to Costco, or maybe they did, and I was just so overwhelmed because it was so many things that I wanted to get. So, what y'all doing? And so, yeah, so this is, don't give her that. That is for my lunch tomorrow. These kids, y'all. Yes, that's going in my water for tomorrow. Also, y'all, I've been drinking diffused water. And today was my first day putting um, limes in here. Usually I do lemon, in, just plain lemon, but it tastes really, really, really good. And so, um, and I've been trying to make sure I take my lunch to work every day. I've been doing that since last week. And I've been doing pretty good. Like the money I would be spending to go out to eat, I'm actually spending it to actually go, um, to actually pack my lunch. I'm kind of saving a couple dollars, a couple of jingles, as my grandma would say. Ma'am, what are you doing? Thank you. Someone said 17 likes. Mm -hmm. Please thumbs up the live for our beautiful host. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you, girl. And I cannot wait, Positive Pusher, for your live tomorrow. I'm going to have to take me a nap on my lunch break so I can be there. Because 9 o'clock, ever since Joe has been home, um, this week, y'all, I've been tapping out. I've been in the bed like right yes, now at 9.30. Yes, they are the best. Yes, girl. So, yeah. So, let me pan y'all down so y'all can see all of these. All of these. Y'all know I can't dance, but <laughs> here we go. Okay, y'all. Y'all see that? Get into it. Yeah, get into it. So, the cheese is melted. Yes, and you see the buffalo sauces pushing through. So you know you gotta have a taste test. I wanna try. These first kids taste. always be scavenging. No, you said let's taste. I'm talking about me as the host. 
And so, we're going to do one chip a piece here. I can't have nothing, y'all. Um, but we're going to do one chip a piece. And typically when I do this, you, you can't eat buffalo chicken dip cute. You got to eat it. I mean, you can't eat it sloppy. You got to eat it cute with a fork or a spoon. And so, I'm going to scoop this for Leah. You all right? You know what, y'all? I'm going to show y'all how cheesy this is. For some reason, my knee is giving me a fit. I'm going to have to put on my knee brace. Maybe it's because I've been in heels for two days. All right, y'all. So, this is what it's looking like. You're going to have to blow on it. All right, I'm going to pan y'all down really quick so y'all can see how cheesy this is. Can y'all see that? All right, so this is the fork that I'm using. This is my chip. Y'all look at this. Y'all ready? Look at that. Yum. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see all that cheese coming off of there? All right, so I'm just going to add it in here like so. Uh-oh, I just dropped it. Leah Denise. Y'all, why my kids be wanting to stress me out? Well, I when they know I'm over here on the live, Carmen's like, she ain't doing nothing. She's sitting over here actually being still. She's playing a Rubik's Cube. You're playing with the Rubik's Cube? Shiny. Your uncle had solved it. Yes, like it was so hard. Okay, y'all. Girl, I'm excited for you. But my thing is this. When I see lives, and if y'all don't know, Positive Pusher is doing a live tomorrow night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is showing up nine o'clock for me. And so she's going to be doing a live. It's her. Um, I am content. Um, living healthy. Every, I can't remember her whole handle. Um, Burns Junk Closet. And somebody else. It's five of them. But y'all, it's going to be a whole situation. So I'm going to be on there for that, for that tomorrow. But I have got to take a nap um tomorrow in order to be present and fully there you want some okay watch out because it's hot hey you're rachel's place girl you are not super late i'm just in here running my mouth cooking buffalo she chicken dip i, I kind of just started because i started on time today so we're just 37 minutes into this thing karma says she wants some y'all you gotta wait you gotta blow on this because it's really really hot don't touch it yet so yeah um i've been trying to catch up i've been running a lot of playlists so um i did a video on sunday about swapping playlists so if you want to swap playlists you can definitely do that in my um instagram me my ig is in the um description so you can send me a message on ig but i know a couple of y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and run y'all even though i know y'all aren't like asking to be ran I'm going to run y'all just so it can kind of help with your, um, your time and stuff like that. Lee, how's the buffalo chicken dip? I don't like it. Lee, I'm tired of her and all her faking. What? I'm for real. I don't like it. You don't like it? Okay. I'm kidding. I like it. <laughs> she fake. So now I'm about to eat it. Mm -hmm. But where's the chicken in it? Is it just like blended in with it? Mm -hmm. What happened to me? Chicken. Where? Right there. It's like blended in. Where? Your thumb. That. Oh, from holding the thing. Okay, that's a little spicy. Joe's here. That's you want to tell everybody hey, babe? What to do what the business is. Oh my you God. already know what I do, so you already know what the business is. Anyway, yeah. When Joe's so never home from my lives. Well, my West Chicken Wednesdays. And like I said, he's not going to eat this because it has ranch in it. But you don't even taste the ranch. You can't even taste the ranch. You want to try it back? Like, no. It tastes like hot sauce, but not that much hot sauce. And, um. Try it, Carmen. Blow on it. It's pretty good, y'all. It's a little spicy. No, it's not. I think it's a little spicy. And I didn't even use three-fourths cut. And so... Recap of the recipe, you'll need your chicken, one block of Philadelphia cream cheese. If you use the name brand, it's totally up to you, but for me, I need the Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, one cup of ranch dressing and three-fourths cups of your Frank's 
Red hot. Or any type of hot sauce. No, Frank's red hot. Don't, can't oblige that. You'll need three different types of cheeses. You'll need a handful of mozzarella. You'll need a handful of mild cheddar. And you'll need almost a whole bag of Colby cheese. Now, if you're putting this in a crock pot, you can do as much cheese as your heart desires, okay? Because that's totally up to you. But yeah, that's the recipe. Um, Let me check this chat real quick. Um, let's see. Okay, Rachel, thank you, girl. I'm, um, I got you, Positive Pusher, Fifi, because I think I ran Fifi, like, a while ago, and I think I ran both of y'all a while ago, so I'm going to run y'all again, because I'm pretty sure my red lines are gone. If they're not, then I'm going to run y'all from my other account. So what I've been doing is, I, since I have three accounts, I'm running people on different accounts, and also like taking like my iPad to work or whatever. So that way I can just run it while I'm at work. So I know it's running and I can actually engage with it versus having it sitting here running all day at the house and no one's here. So yeah. But yeah, y'all, that is what's cooking Wednesday. Like I think this is probably one of the shortest what's cooking Wednesdays I've ever done in the history of what's cooking Wednesday. I think it was last week. It was a uh Last week, I did, like, actually an hour. So, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, my dad is having surgery next Tuesday. So, I'm not 100% sure if I will be doing What's Cooking Wednesday or not. If I do, I'll post the schedule for it to, um, post the schedule for it on Monday. Um, and if I am not able to do it on Wednesday, I will post a video for y'all to have um, with me cooking or something like that. So yeah, so keep that in mind, but I'll keep y'all updated on the community tab and my Instagram. But it is 7.15 and I'm officially done cooking. I'm about to feed these kids, get them ready, and then me and Joe gonna chill. So yeah, y'all wanna do the ending with me? Yes. So, come on, come on, come on. So if y'all like this video, okay. make sure you give it a Big, big thumbs, big thumbs up. up. Watch out, Carmen. You've got to take your sister out. A big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. button and turn on that bell notification so you never what? Miss a upload. And until next time, you guys, we Miss will see you on the next one. Talk, Talk to you soon. Bye. bye. Do it, Carmen. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, you guys. Bye, Dad.